Hey there, my name is Steve Gearhart, and as always, this is the Unagi Observer. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video. Uh, last week I mentioned it, and I'll mention it again. I am going to Gen Con at the end of the month, and uh, surprise, surprise, I'm actually doing an anime panel. Yes, there is anime uh, at uh, Gen Con. There's a little little kind of like, like mini convention within the convention. So if you happen to be going to Gen Con and you want to see an anime panel, please stop on by. It'll be on Friday at 2 p.m. Um, it's going to be called When History and Anime Combine to Entertain Otaku. So that's the name of it. You can just show up with your little ticket and come on in. Or you can, if you're already going to Gen Con, you can go online and sign up for it online. Um, so yeah, there you go. Stop on by. See me. Anyway, <laughs> um, this week is going to be kind of an hodgepodge uh, video of things. I did a little reading from a Conan the Barbarian story by Robert E. Howard, the creator of Conan. And uh, let's see here. We're going to talk about a little movie, liter literally a little movie that was filmed here in Baltimore that is um, um, Japanese adjacent. And um, you can get a little AMV, yes, a little AMV, you know, nothing nothing crazy. And uh, that's what we got, got in store for you this week. Uh, next week, um, I'm probably going to be all prepping and ready to go to Gen Con so you can get a little, not a little, but a, a Genshin Impact video so you have something to watch while I'm gone. And then, when, of course, when I come back, I will tell you guys all about Gen Con. So why don't we just go into the hodgepodge video of this week and let's go ahead and start now. No, O oh Prince, that between the years when the oceans drank Atlantis and the gleaming cities and the years of the rise of the sons of Arias, there was an age undreamed of. When shining kingdoms lay spread across the world like blue mantles beneath the stars. Namidia. Ophir, Barthumia, Hyperborea, Zamora with its dark-haired women and towers of spider-haunted mystery, Singara with its chivalry, Koth that bordered on the pastoral lands of Shem, Stygia with its shadow-guarded tombs, Harkania whose riders wore steel and silk and gold. But the proudest kingdom of the world was Aquilonia, reigning supreme in the dreaming west. Hither came Conan the Sumerian, Black-haired, sullen-eyed, sword in hand, a thief, a reaver, a slayer, with gigantic melancholies and gigantic mirth, to tread the jewel thrones of the earth under his sandaled feet. So every couple of weeks I go to a place called Beyond Video. I get about three or four DVDs, uh, tapes, whatever. Yes, there is a, still a functioning video store that you can go to here in Baltimore, Beyond Video. The link will be down below in case you want to check it out. And uh, so I get there and I and I pick up some, some movies and, and things to watch. And I'm waiting in line for my turn to get checked out. And I kind of look over and I see a Maryland section on the shelf there and you know, I've, I've gotten movies from there before because, you know, stuff gets filmed in Baltimore. So, anyway, I, I was kind of looking at this thing, and it was kind of a weird, kind of like a nondescript cover. There wasn't really much on it. Um, and it said, Punkutsu Park. I'm like, Punkutsu Park? Sounds Japanese, What's, but it's in the Maryland section. So, what, is, what does this mean? So, I pick it up, and I read the back of it, and I'm like, oh, okay, why the heck not? And, um... It's six minutes long, so it's a really short movie. It's a short. It was at Con uh, in 2007. Obviously, didn't go anywhere with it. Most people don't know what this is. There's hardly anything online. There's a little thing from IMDb. The website is now, I think, defunct. Um, the I'm going to look at the notes here. The the actress that introduces you to the story is called Harry Lee. Um, um, not Asian and she's been in The Devil Wears Prada and Prime so she is an actual actress um, I think she had a couple lines in those movies you know nothing crazy and so she plays a cop in Pankutsu Park I don't know if you can see that and um, <clears throat> so she starts it off 
kind of talking in this Midwestern accent and kind of telling you, you know, basically what this park is, which is basically a rundown park where all the bad people hang out. And apparently there's a girl who is, who normally works at a bubble tea kiosk and she's reading manga and then these people start bothering her and then she's trying to get out Pankutsu Park and, you know, intact and, you know, she's she's running through and every time she meets up with somebody, they talk in a different language. Um, I think they do actually Mandarin, Cantonese, Korean, Japanese, and I think French. So, <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of subtitles going on. And so she's having to fight her way through. Uh, the fight choreography is not that great, but it's not really supposed to be. It's just a fun little movie. And as she's battling through, she gets overwhelmed. And this girl kind of cosplaying as something I don't know what um, shows up. And she's able to shoot PBR, Paps Blue Ribbon, cans of beers from her hands and she's shooting them from her hands and they're hitting the opponents and the bubble tea girl is beating up the other opponents and they make it out of the parking lot i don't feel like i'm spoiling anything here it's just something <laughs> unusual to watch pankusu park um so should you find this somewhere in the world i haven't even looked to see if it's streaming or i'm sure it's on youtube somewhere um and you want to waste six minutes of your life there you go. Uh, do I recommend it? If you like weird little things like this, yes, please do by all means watch it. But if you never see it in your life, that's okay too. But uh, here's but you know the big takeaway for me is that it's filmed here in Baltimore. So I did not know that, but um, but yeah. So there you go. Uh, Punkutsu Park. Why not? Okay, so that is it for this week. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I uh, hope this hodgepodge video was okay. Um, next week is going to be a Genshin Impact video. It's actually going to be kind of long, so I think it's around 20 minutes or so. Um, it's not me talking, it's me playing, so I uh, hope you enjoy that. I will be busy. The reason why you're getting that video is because I will be busy getting ready for Gen Con and I think doing an upload for um, Anime Archaeology. So the links for that will be down below. I will go to Gen Con and I will come back and I will make a video to tell you about Gen Con 2024. So that's how the next couple of weeks are going to pan out, I think. And uh, so there you are. And if you happen to be going to Gen Con and you want to see my panel, please do. Um, and if I just happen to see you around or if you see me around and you want to say hi, please do. I would love that. Okay, guys, have a good one and I will see you next time. Oh, and as always, as always, kind of have to aim my fingers here. Watch more anime. <laughs>